So since we've now ample time left, I do my closing remarks in 45 minutes. <laughs> no, no, five minutes. So, Charlotte, thank you very much for pointing us at the insightful IBOR Global uh, Benchmark Transition Report and also uh, the, uh, the checklist that goes with it. I all urge you to read it because it can help you in transitioning yourself. And the same thanks goes to Bertrand for sharing with us an example of how the EIB is doing it currently in all the work streams that you currently have in your organization, but also pointing us at the fact that we need to reach out to the market. If we do this without our clients and without the investors, we're not bound to succeed. So we also need to prepare, and also from a duty of care point of view, the way that we communicate with our clients and with investors. So I think this nicely closes off the, uh, the first market outreach, and uh, as Bertrand said, we should do many more, so we will do many more. Thanks very much, Bertrand. Next week we'll be back. Um, um, so we discussed today the status of the Ionia and Euribor reforms. Uh, why do we need alternative risk-free rates? How far are we on transition path? And what are the challenges that ahead of us? And most importantly, the next steps. So what can you expect from us the next couple of months? And uh, I know there were already some questions about it. Can we do a bit less? But probably the answer is we need to be do a bit more. Uh, so basically, on the transitioning away from Aeonia, and the working group is concluding shortly, at least initially concluding, and then discussed in the whole working group, after which there will be a reach out. And then the final recommendation on the transition path of Aeonia to Esther will then be at the end of the first quarter of 2019. But that is only after we have received feedback from the market, which means you. Um, a similar time path is being followed when we discuss about the structure methodology, which then functions as a fallback for uh, Euribor. And that working group will uh, consult the market on the recommended methodology by the end of this year. And again, final recommendations that need to take place by the end of the first quarter of 2019. And last but not least, uh, regarding regulatory robustness or contractual robustness for new and legacy contracts, the working group will publish an overview of the legal landscape and some guiding principle for fallback clauses also by the first quarter of 2019. With that, I would like to thank the speakers, with special reference, of course, to the ECB. Thank you very much, Cornelia, to make this day possible. And also would like to thank you very much for being all present today and to participate very much in the discussions that we had over lunch, but also the questions that you asked in the first market outreach on Euro risk-free rates. We hope you found it informative. Um, some people would say it, it should inspire you. Uh, but how we should further consider how to implement that worldwide reform of major interest rate benchmarks because it will infect your institution and all of our stakeholders. Because, and I repeat my last sentence of this morning, time is of the essence, all market participants must act now and next step need to be taken to a sure and sure a smooth transition. Thank you very much and I hope you transition well to home. Thank you. Bye.